Chris Collins. Guts and glory. I What's up? Welcome to episode 9 of Guts and Glory. This is Chris Collins of O2 Artistry. I want to say big shout again to Burger Kang for supplying the beat. Uh, this dude's pretty wild. He said this track right here is called Feed Me Sex. <laughs> and as you can see, I'm putting the final touches on the biggest piece. If you checked out episode 8, you see that i started this and i didn't finish it so here it is guys i'm gonna finish this thing off tonight right now and i call it no team just a dream yeah say oh you know he that's all he does is put big boobs on paintings i mean <laughs> sorry I mean, i'm a fan of big boobs personally i'm a man you know l l let's not forget you know how most of us get here all right let's just be honest come on well, i mean where are we at today you know what i'm saying we shaming each other for you know beautiful breasts and stuff come on now come on now concept of no team is something I came up with recently and basically it just means you know I don't have a team knocked out the biggest piece that I started in episode 8 but yeah guys I hope you enjoy this painting uh, don't forget to comment let me know what you think about it alright I really like how this piece ended up turning out no team just a dream. Some people want to know, you know, what's up with the cat. Well, the cat is a representation of those of us who have endured a, you know, hard life. done a watercolor piece in a while man it's been like a year I think uh, it's been quite some time I'm gonna knock that out I hope you guys dig it peace yes indeed it has been a while since I have painted a watercolor piece 
I really got into watercolor like big time back in 2016 and I just had like a rejuvenation you know as an artist uh, I had people questioning whether or not I was an artist and I think you know when I started creating those watercolor pieces you know started turning some heads and people started to realize that you know I am an artist and I'm not playing man this isn't a joke to me this is you know what I am and this is how I live out again to Burger King. Big up. And the name of this piece is Break Me Off Real Good. This episode, man, uh, I guess I should have nowadays in the cancel culture that we live in people you know shy away from sex and they they act like it's a bad thing i mean like i said earlier that's how we all got here you know and you know at some point that's how you know people are are created that's how humanity was created was you know through sex i think sex is a great thing i don't think it's something we should shy away from or you know be ashamed of and we should be able to talk about it without you know people being offended and whatnot i really enjoyed doing this piece it was a return to you know something that basically put me out there as an emerging artist so yeah hope you guys like it if you do let me know in the comments favorite things about watercolor is the saturation of the color and and just the way the color layers it's just beautiful to me it really feels good you know creating a painting like this i think that the pen and ink also works really well with the watercolor those two just go hand in hand you know, I never really understood that until one day I just started doing it. So, here I am. It's been a while. Hope you like it. <laughs> so, yeah. This one's called Break Me Off Real Good. Really like how it turned out. It's not a really big piece, but, you know, decent little size painting. also use a more professional quality of watercolor paper this time that I haven't used before. And... I thought it I thought it was really good paper. It was a lot better than the paper I usually use, but you know, with watercolor, you have to understand that you're not going to be able to control every aspect of it and just kind of let go and create. But yeah, if you get a good chance to work with some good paper like this, it helps. I you feed me sex.